Hey everyone, Suze here, and today I have a simple tutorial for you guys. I'm going to go over some basics of the game. Mimi is not here today, but don't worry, we are preparing cool videos for you guys, so stay tuned for that. As suggested by Jotamite in her last tutorial video, I will put timestamps in this video. So if you want to check something specific, go to the description and check the times there. Oh, and a reminder that this is a test server, so whatever happens here doesn't apply the same way to the real one. Okay, so one of our players asked for something in the last video, I'm gonna put his comment here. So basically he wants to know what all the buttons in the main interface are for. So I guess it can be really overwhelming, especially if you're not used to this kind of game to like understand what everything leads to, right? Let's begin with the items here on the top. The first one is for the achievements. The achievements are things that you do and you get prizes for it. There are four types here, the battle, growth, collect and other. So look out for this because maybe you have prizes to receive and you didn't even notice. So I think it's a good idea to always look for this menu. The second one is for adding friends. The third one is the mailbox where you can receive any item from, from things that you did or just you have you receive daily uh, gifts too. And the other menu we have here is the golden pass. In the golden pass, you can do a set of missions here and you get points for these missions. So for example, this one is complete event quest 10 times. After you do that, you get 10 points and then you can exchange them for items in the Golden Pass. Or you can buy the Golden Pass and have access to the items on the second call, second roll here. And the next one is the campaign, the surprise campaign. So this one has 19 days remaining and if you do the pickup gacha 100 times, you can get the supporter here, Kazuhara Tatsumi. So yeah, if you are someone that does gacha a lot, I recommend you to check to see if you have anything to receive from the surprise campaign. The other one we have here here is the weekly mission. In this one, you get prizes for doing tasks. Some of them are very simple, like this first one, for example, you just have to log in four times and then you can get them gems. So I recommend you guys to always look every week to see what's up with the weekly mission. Now that the top part is done here, let's go to the character. So the character is the timing. Timing is that you have, you can see their level here. And you can go and check their stats, their weapons, the skills, and everything that they have. And then we have the inventory, of course, the items that you have. Be sure to always organize inventory, don't be like me. Um, let's go to the gacha menu now. And the gacha is very straightforward, I guess. You just, uh, you, you can tap the image for details, so this is Murasaki gacha here, I click on it and then I can see exactly what items I can get and what is the drop rate of those items too. Then we have the store and you can buy costumes, you can buy timonines and other things. And we have the quest one, which is like a little bit more complicated, I guess. We have the special mode here, Azagi's Infinity Runner, and we have a shooting game with Yukikaze. And then we have the daily quest that you can do to get items. We have the main quest, which is like very interesting. And we have the events, also fun stories to follow. And we have the time attack here in the end. And after that, we have the arena here in the side, which is the PvP, and you can play with all the players. Now that this is done, let's go here to the left. We have this notification menu here, and the first one, the bell, is for common notifications, so you can click on it, and then it will redirect you to the page that it's talking about. So, skill unlock Shinden, so it's gonna go directly to that page. The star here is if you have any buffs on your character, I don't have any right now. And the last one is the facility, how long does it take to do something there? So they will have all the timing here. In this case, for example, I am done with this uh, thing here that I put my Murasaki to train in the XP training facility. So now it's done, but then if you have time remaining, they will show it on that uh, menu here too. So. Yeah, if you don't want to enter the facility, you can just click here and you can know how long it will take. Uh, it's very practical because you don't want to be clicking here all the time. So, okay, this next one that I clicked here, the steps are the facilities. So, remember that you have to unlock them. They don't all come like this. And 
yeah they are like of easy access here you can just click here and go to them uh, going to the top part we have this button here we can take off the interface and then you can annoy Goku your character Goku. like i'm trying to annoy murasaki Goku here Goku. she's like no no i don't care about you um <laughs> And you can also change the background if you have others. Right now, I don't have any, but we had a Christmas one, for example. And we have this pop-up here. It will take you directly to the page that it's talking about. So costumes or gachas or something. To finish, we have here the collections here on the side. So click here on the side, top right menu and you have collections and you can check let's say the character's lore their background and you can have the intimacy events which are the ones that you find by clicking on this heart here for each time i mean you need to get to level 70 to unlock this type of event so i think this game has a lot of very interesting story details to check so i really like the collection i really recommend you guys to see what is new from characters that you got, like just just read their background here. Each supporter also has a story and also has an intimacy event as long as you reach their maximum level. So yeah, check that out. The settings, notifications, you can link your account here, uh, the contact terms of service, and we have the languages. We have six languages, so everyone try to choose the language you prefer. And just a reminder here, if you have to update the game or something like that, you don't have to close it. You can just return to the title with this last button here. So I think that's all for the lobby. That was a lot of information already. Okay, so now that we went over all of this, let's talk about the Magatamas. So what are the Magatamas? The Magatamas are items used to improve weapon stats. I'll explain how they work, but first, let's go over the Magatama types. There are N, R, and S, R types, okay? And we have the, the red one, which is the Magatama of Bravery for attack. We have the yellow one for critical, the satisfaction Magatama. We have the blue one, which is for defense, the Magatama of Solid, and we have the green one, the Magatama of Steadfast for health points. Now that that's out of the way, let's go to the character's weapon screen and check here. Okay, so I have four Magatamas in this Emily here. I'm gonna unequip them so I can show you guys how to uh, how to manage this. Emily, she has 2,543 points for attack and we wanna make her stronger. So we're gonna go to the weapon and we're gonna put all attack Magatamas on her so that she has more attack. So as you can see here on the side, now it's 612 plus of attack points. So we go back to her status and now Emily has 3,155 points for attack. So that's a lot. <laughs> So like, I just want to let you guys know that they are indispensable, the Magatamas, to make your character powerful and able to handle the upper levels. Like you need this for normal and hard. Let's see now how we can make the Magatamas even better. Okay, so back to the Magatama menu. I'm gonna upgrade a Magatama here to see what we have to do. So every Magatama has a level cap of five and you can upgrade it to that level five. Okay, okay, we have it uh, level five now. So when your Magatama is level five, you can polish it. And you need these items here, the, the beads, and they, it will unlock one of these locks here. So let's polish this Magatama. And yeah, polished. Reduce damage taken from bosses by 0.4%. Every Magatama has these locks here, and every time you upgrade them to level 5 and then you polish them, one of the locks will be unlocked. And after you have all of them, you can decide exactly what type of Magatama you want to use. So the most popular Magatamas are the attack and the critical ones, but it will depend on what you want to achieve really, like what type of player you want to be. Another thing that I wanted to mention is you're like, where can I get these items? For every item that you have, you can click this button here called Acquire Info and you, you see where you can get them. 
like time attack ticket gacha that's where you can get this one so you click on it you will take you directly to the mission that you can get this item from so as you can see here sr um magatama here 16.7 percent of drop rate Okay guys, I hope this was useful to you. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And let me know if you wanna know something specific or if you, there was something you wanted to know in this video and I didn't mention it. And also if the pace was okay, if it was too fast or too slow. Uh, so yeah, tell me in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.